All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to go over hand speed and sort of a hand speed test, just like the beep test that you would have done in school to test your VO2 max. I've sort of designed a test here to help you guys out, uh, sort of a tool that I'm even using myself. Now, when you think of hand speed, there are four aspects. One is the most common ability to throw fast combinations, including head movement and defense with good balance, power, and technique. Next, for a more skilled fighter, is the ability to read punches and react to openings. You have to have the skills in order to be able to pull it off, to see the punches, react to the openings. The quicker you see the opportunity, the quicker you can execute your shot. It sort of almost compensates for hand speed or will enhance your hand speed. Number three, this is big for fighters like Roy Jones and Floyd Mayweather, is the ability to cover distance. They're able to fight from an extra inch or two out, just a little bit further, and it almost seems like they're faster with their hands, but they're really just faster at covering distance, which kind of works with the hands together. Uh, it can sort of almost make someone seem faster with their hands than they are, even though when on the inside, uh, they may just be equally as quick as another uh, opponent with quick hands. And last, the most important part is recovery, the ability to sustain hand speed over the rounds. Being able to execute combos for one round doesn't cut it. You need to be able to recover and work over and over again over the rounds. Okay, so also before I get on with the video, I want to give a shout out to Team Reed fighting out of Awasa in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They have some real slick fighters and they're stable there. A good coach and some innovative, innovative training methods. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Check out what they're doing. Okay, so here's how it works. Uh, basically, you're going to choose any of these three combos, or you can even make up your own combo. I'm going to demonstrate them in the part of the video coming up. Uh, you're you're going to download an MP3, and I'm going to leave a download link in the description below in the video. There's going to be a long beep to start and end the round. Within the round, you'll hear a beep go quick, and you'll have one and a half seconds to execute the combo. Once that one and a half seconds is up, you'll hear a second beep. And basically that just means time's up. You'll have three or four seconds to maybe take a step here, a step there, move around. And then you're going to hear the beep again. And you have to execute the combo before the beep hits. You'll basically know when you've caught it because the punch will, your punch will finish as you hear the, the last beat. Or if you're hitting on the bag, your bag hit and the, and the beep will go at the same time. Obviously, more combos, more slips, more techniques, and it's going to be harder to fit them all in. I find that head movements are harder and take a little bit more out of you than punches. So work with the combos that I've given or make up your own. The key is not only to last one round, but to try to last at least three rounds. Or if you, you can go that long, then do it even longer and go through three or four rounds. All right, so let's get started and give it a shot. <laughs> 